Hey folks, it's something a bit different today. We are going to be looking at getting this all cleared out. There's diggers, there's tractors, and it's all good fun. Let me explain exactly what's going to happen. So it's hottest day of the year and the dog's cooling off, don't blame her. We've got to get a big full-size tractor through here, eight, nine foot wide, and it's obviously not that big at the moment. So we need to open up the bank. This side I've managed to clear the vegetation and you can see how much of the soil we've got to take out. Which means we could keep nibbling away with the front loader on the tractor, or dare I say it, use a shovel. But when you have subscribers to the channel who have nice shiny mini diggers, well, you can't refuse. That looks like a fancy bucket. Does it swivel? Yeah, swivel and chill. So it's an Encon unit, so stupidly. I don't know why I bought it. Well, I do know why I bought it, because it is very good. But the um, the unit's probably almost two thirds of the price of the machine. I bet. But um, it is really and like, it just means that unlike a little machine like this, and for what, like the type of stupid things I end up doing, like my own stuff yeah it just means that quite often i can have a bigger machine but sit in one place and not keep having to move yeah because yeah, i can yeah. plus it was sort of when i was a little boy i always wanted a jcb bigger so <laughs> like, if you're gonna do it do it properly <laughs> how soon do you do that every time uh not every time so to be fair my sort of go-to is i do a full full grease like every two diesel fields Okay. Yeah. And then every other diesel fill, like in between, I'll just top up if it looks a bit thing or yeah. if I felt something was a bit loose. But there's no real knack to it, but it's that usual thing of the grease costs money, but grease is a lot cheaper than if something shears off. Or and, yeah. and obviously, it's that usual thing of. Uh, right, all the nipples are greased, ready to go. Yeah, so this post here is kind of okay to work up to, I guess. I mean, it can come out if it needs to. Oh, okay, yeah, so, no, that's better. We could treat that as a... Sort of stop. Yeah, we just square this up. Yeah. Then that side, go across to probably where those posts are. Yeah. Right, we're almost there with the banks on this side and then we'll smooth it all out. We will need to improve the grip on this side with hardcore. And I'm not sure we're going to get hold of any concrete sleepers. But if we can at least get this smoothed out. Maggie, wait! I need to get a load of type 1. It will wash around over the years, but it'll be better than slipping on this.
Well, I've been off unloading pig food. Let's see how Craig got on. You find the ends of them? They do go that way. More. But the ends. It went that way a little bit more. So there's the end there. It looks worse than it is, by the way. Yeah, it's looking good. Um, yeah. There's your end. And then they go more into this bit here. They must be longer than eight foot. They gotta be. Quite a so I was just sort of. I was going to sort of use this as your line, which is sort of. We'll take this corner off, obviously. Yeah. So I thought I'd clear this first. And then also, I found the odd breeze block and that where obviously you must. Chucked a few bits there. Occasionally. It's just yeah. random how that's built up so much. But... So the update is we found the edge of the concrete sleepers. They're way over eight feet. So I think they've asked for nine foot for the tractor, and that's fine. So we're going to use that, the, the width of those, as our kind of date and point to work from and then bring it up. We're just trying to make sure we don't muddy the waters or drop anything into the water to keep that clean. Everything come right up on these banks. And then our boundary is just barbed wire in there somewhere. I was just saying to Craig, when we get all of this fence all the way, we've got five, nearly 500 metres to do it then. We'll, because this is a flood meadow, water does come across here sometimes. And because it flows that way and then back into the brook, the last thing we want is to put our stock fence here and end up with a giant colander. So when we do put it there, we'll have to probably put in some extra posts so it's not the three metres or whatever we're going to do. It's still the high tensile wire, but if we just make it as strong as we can. Because it's a lamb safe, it's slightly bigger holes anyway. It's just if a tyre or a pallet comes hurtling down, it'll just get caught in there. So we'll have to keep an eye on it, I guess. That front bucket is pretty awesome. You'd have to like move the digger about four or five times to get in the same position. We're almost done. The crossing is finished. We're just going to spread out this bit of soil that's up here. And then we are good to go on Operation Fence next week. Well, it just goes to show when you know what you're doing, you've got the right kit, you can make it look quite easy. I'm sure it wasn't, and especially that special fancy bucket on the end, pretty sure it will take a little while to get used to using that. But a huge thank you to Craig. So our crossing is now restored to its former glory. It was once this wide anyway and we're just tidying it up. So we're gonna try and reseed those banks, make it nice and green. That will also help hold it in place. From talking to the previous owner, it sounds like this is the sort of thing you need to do every few years, just have a bit of a tidy up. But hopefully this has got us ready so we can now get not just the tractor across for the fencing job, it's also our own vehicles and implements and the livestock trailer and other things we'll need to get over there once we've got the pigs all settled in in the secret meadow. I'm sure this won't be the last we see of Craig and well we've already seen him to be honest because he came back that evening and gave me a hand with the hay bales but there's going to be lots more excavation, digging, trenching, all sorts to do over the coming months so once again a huge thank you to him. Thank you all so much for watching, remember if you can do it yourself or find a mate with a digger and we'll see you next time.